Hey, what's up, guys? It is your boy. I'm going to bring you another video today. And today, guys, we are going to be going over the best ways to farm elk. And let me just say on here and say this as soon as this video starts. Um, elk, farming elk specifically, you shouldn't really do it as a new player. Um, new players should really be focusing on getting equipment and building up their account and all that. You guys really shouldn't show, uh, really shouldn't focus, <laughs> really shouldn't focus on getting elk too much really getting farming elk and like doing all that is really for the more hardcore slash veteran players of the game whenever we already have like we farm like all the equipment from the event or whatever the case may be and then we're done so we don't really have anything else to do for the week so what do we do we try to farm elk to you know save up elk for elk stones or elk summons and all the other good stuff so just want to get that out of the way um, before this video starts because uh, i don't really believe new players should farm elk at all so yeah now, moving on to the best ways to farm elk. I'm not going to cover, you know, what elk is. You guys probably already know it if you clicked on the video. So, yeah, uh, there's no real need to cover it. But let's go over this. The best ways to farm elk. So, elk, in order to get it, you need to sell five-star equipment, four-star equipment. I think even three-star equipment will work as well. And then also four stars um, that you get from the gacha can also give you elk. And then also five stars from the gacha can give you elk as well. So... Out of all those ways, what's the best way to do it? Well, if you are a whale, hands down, the best way to do it. If you are whaling every single day, uh, every single banner that comes out, you whale all the time, well, then that's pretty much the best way to get out. Um, because you're going to be getting five stars left and right. You're going to be getting four stars left and right. You're going to be selling those, and that pretty much is the easiest way to get out in this game unfortunately <laughs> so yeah uh, the more you whale the more elk you will have in theory so yeah <laughs> but if you are a free to play player or if you're a budget player you're like me um you know i spend money on the game but i'm not trying to you know well like that <laughs> um well op what do we do so let me tell you best ways for us to farm out like i covered earlier with the five and four star equipments if you sell a five star equip you can sell a five star equip for a total of 10 Alk, okay so if we go here and we click sell uh, let me see if i have anything so right here you see the fire sector this is from the berwick event this sells for 10 elk okay so in order for me to get a thousand elk from this right here that means i would have to sell a hundred five star equips in order to get a thousand elk um and then you know of course four star equips that are from events give you only four elk so keep that in mind as well so the best way that i'm getting at here the best way to farm this is by doing events or luck events luck units for example that have a very high um equipment drop rate for five and four star equips so how do we know this i would say this you can do any event currently here that allows you to at least get there's a chance for you to at least get at least two five star equips in it okay if it's like one five star equip and a four star equip in my personal opinion it's just not worth farming it because it's just not going to be that good to get a five star equip because that's what you want you want the five star equips if you're going to be selling them so for example the burwick event um also another thing you have to factor in is time how long are you able to uh or how fast are you able to clear this you know what i'm saying um so the burwick event i would not recommend at all to like farm for out because the burwick event each runs about like a minute a minute and a half because you know more than likely you guys are using three edge rooms and athena so every runs about like a minute and a half to two minutes so it's really not that good uh for you know farming extremely fast also there's only one five star equip and a four star equip and both of the equipments are pretty good so i wouldn't even recommend like selling them i'd recommend trying to stack up as many of the four star equips as possible from the burwick event so that's kind of out of the picture the slime event you can kind of do to an extent but not really um because it also i think what the slime events has what isn't it like two five star equips right isn't it two five star equips and a four star I'm not mistaken yeah so you know this could be done relatively well as well you know what i'm saying um you could do this pretty fast i think with an edge room comp so yeah but the thing that i want to talk about really is that the luck event the trial events you know what i'm saying the how you get these luck units these are pretty much the best ways to get out because you can do these events extremely quickly now unfortunately the two that i recommend aren't actually here at the moment and i'm going to show you a run from uh one of the events that i'm going to recommend so if we go hit the giant boss schedule i'll show you the ones that i recommend personally if they are on the schedule they may not be on the schedule for this week um let me see okay they're not so i'll just show you this isn't the best one but this is one of the easiest ones to do one of them is edrum edrum is no lie the one of the easiest luck events to farm and it is a really good stop 
for farming uh, Alk because you have a chance for two five-star equips. His equipment isn't really even all that either. Um, also, Edrum is a very good luck unit, so at the same time you farming Alk, um, if you haven't already max L beat Edrum and got him to 120 luck, you could also be working on that as well. And like I said too, his farm is very relatively like fast. It's about like 10, what is it, like 20 to 25 seconds usually. Um, if you're running like what, like an Edra or like Corsair and like uh, Hijikata or something. I don't even think you need to run Corsair anymore. Can't you just run like four Hijikatas and do it like extremely fast? But yeah, so Edrum is one of them. Uh, you can do his event relatively quickly. Um, it's pretty easy, you know, nothing really too crazy happens in it. So, yeah, Edrum is one. Now, the other one I'm going to recommend is this guy. This guy's event, without a doubt, hands down, is the best way to farm Alk. Gilliam's event is the best way to farm Alk. You can beat Gilliam's event in a matter of 3 to 5 seconds if everyone is running the right equipment and you're using the right units. You can do this in, no lie, about 3 to 5 seconds and you can just stack up on the elk stones relatively quickly now i want to say this before i go any further do not expect to be getting like thousands and thousands and thousands of elk per hour it's not going to work like that unfortunately to give you an idea or like kind of a rough uh as or like, i guess yeah like a rough estimate of what you'll get i farmed gilliam for two hours and that matter of two hours i guess my luck was kind of good i got or no it wasn't two hours it was like yeah it was like two and a half hours maybe close to three hours um during that time, I got around, I think it was 800 ALK, okay? So, don't think you are going to be able to just get a thousands and thousands and thousands of ALK an hour. You can't do that, unfortunately. Unless your luck is just absolutely insane with, like, the equipment drops. So, yeah. But Gilliam makes it a little bit easier because, like I said, you can do his event in about 5 to 3 seconds, or 3 to 5 seconds. So, it's very easy. None of his equipment is really that good anyway. So, you can sell all of it, and you have a very good chance of getting a ton of elk relatively quickly. Like, if you farm this all day, you could probably end the day with around 3k elk, more than likely, which is a really good amount of elk uh, if you farm all day uh, for it. So, hey, it is what it is. But I'm going to show you the way how we farm it, and yeah, we're going to get right to it. So, here we are. This is. The way how you farm Gilliam, and this, like I said too, is one of the best ways to farm it. Now, the best way to farm it is using four Hijikatas, all using nuke equips or equips that do a ton of damage. The reason for that is Gilliam takes three times more damage from equipment, so it's really good. So pretty much the way how you farm this is use anything that does a ton of damage, any equipment that does a ton of damage, any type of physical attack equipment that does a ton of damage. So anything that has a very high modifier, and also if it does fire damage, that's a huge plus since Gilliam is earth type, you know, you're going to be increasing the damage even further. And then, yeah, so pretty much everyone has nuke equips on, um, and then everyone uh, also has like crit items or something like that, or, we, or everyone's using, or someone is using Terra's Conjunction on the team. Um, me personally, what I did was because art isn't really needed in this, um, we don't really need arts at all. Uh, so what I was doing personally was I was running Scissors Blade, Remuru Sword, and then Deus Volta, which is a 20% damage increase. So that's on all damage inflicted uh, by our team. So I was using that to increase everyone's equipment damage as well, or just everybody's damage in general. And Flo was using Terra's Conjunction, Scissors Blade, and also the Cursed Sword uh, Graham, which is good. And then also, uh, Davey was using Scissors Blade, Snippy Snips, and Hellshaft, just in case, I guess, if uh, he needed to use his art. And also, Hellshaft does give you crit chance whenever you use it. So, yeah. Now, unfortunately, aka Sai, uh, he didn't have Hijikata, he only had the slime, so we were like, yeah, it's fine, you guys, you know, you can join in and... <laughs> Uh, jump into the elk farm with us so here we go we're going to show you how fast this is so i'm you don't have to even like do what i'm doing while i'm like tapping uh you can just uh play it completely auto and then boom there you go and then pretty much you may have to use like one attack or something like that one art and then boom four second run best way to farm out right there you keep doing this literally over and over and over until you're out of stamina or you just have enough elk stones for the day or whatever the case may be so, Gilliam is the best way to farm this, and it does suck that, you know, it's only uh, Gilliam that can farm this, or, like, it, it does really suck that, like, not not Gilliam, but, like, it does suck that you don't really get that much, like, especially if you put in so much time into it, and, yeah. Also, I want to mention, too, another way how to farm Alk, which is random, is the Summon Lottery, because we never know when the Summon Lottery is coming, but the Summon Lottery is a very good way to farm Alk, so... Yeah, if you want to farm Alk, 
just play the summon or like you know do the summon lottery every single day and that will also give you a ton of elk as well but this is kind of like more of like you know the chances or like the more consistent ways of farming it since you know these are here like all pretty much every single week or something like that give them comes around at least like once or twice a week most of the time so yeah Pretty much Gilm's the best way to farm it right there. You saw it was a three second run. And yeah, unfortunately that's the best way. Any event that has multiple five star equips in it, farm it. If the Finn event ever comes back, that would be a very good event to farm. Because the Finn event, if I'm not mistaken, has three five star equips. And then like, what, like two four star equips. So it's a very good event to farm. I mean, I don't think the Finn event takes that long if I remember correctly. So yeah, apart from that though guys, that's going to be it for the video today. Thank you all for coming out, man. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. And yeah guys, if you guys are farming that out make sure you guys are getting it and all that also just a reminder we're going to be streaming tonight on twitch at 7 p.m cst so make sure you guys are out there it's been a lot of fun recently and yeah also shout out to all you guys man we just hit what is this 4.2k i think we're about to be at 4.3k by now you guys are ridiculous you're od man you're od so i appreciate it so much guys you guys have been absolutely killing the, uh, the support of the channel recently and yeah apart from that though guys it's been your boy op thank you all so much and i'm out guys peace